I thought what we would do first, if you would like, is I would like to guide you through a meditation where you can actually clear some of the yuck that gets stuck with these chakras as we go about our life here. And one of the things that I, um, I teach to my clients is the fact that movement of the body can create different chemicals in the brain. And if you've ever known a child who is autistic, you will see this child, many of them will rock in bed or rock against, and they'll go in a corner or they'll take a blanket and they'll wrap up really tight and they'll rock. Well, the reason they do this is because it creates a calming shift in the brain. It's a chemical shift. And so a lot of times before I do work with someone and you know my eyes are closed, their eyes are closed, I just ask them if they could imagine um, like a, a hula hoop. Remember playing with the hula hoop when you were a kid and you would have to go back and forth. And some people like to, to go side to side. And you just, you find that um, pace that feels comfortable for you. For some people it's quicker, for other people it's slower. But I want you to see a, like a pink and green hula hoop, only it's made of a cloud. And I just want you to see it going around towards your right shoulder as you go forward and back, just as a hula hoop would go around you. So I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to allow you to do the same. And just for, just for a little bit, just go back and forth. Take some deep breaths all the way into the belly. Relax your jaw muscles, relax your neck and your shoulders. Okay, so you can pause this video if you need to do that a little bit more to get in a comfortable, peaceful place. But I'm gonna go ahead and start um, the, the clearing meditation. And what you do with that is you close your eyes and I just want you to imagine that you're standing under a beautiful waterfall. And this, is, this waterfall is just a couple feet above your head. And it's the most gentle, the most beautiful, clear water you can imagine. And it's just that perfect temperature so you're not cold at all while this water runs over your body. And I want you to start just to imagine this water coming down, going on the top of your head. And as it hits the crown of your head, I want you to see that beautiful light purple color. And with the yucky stuff that gets stored there, a lot of times it, it comes, it almost seems like the, that beautiful color is tinged with a little brown. And what this is, is the energy of all those prayers you feel like have been unanswered and, or all the prayers you feel like have not been heard. And so as that beautiful water cascades over your head, I want you to see it pick up that purple and brown color, pull it down your body, over your shoulders, down your trunk, it goes down the legs, and I want you to see it just go into this little river and just flow. And you can see that that yucky, dirty purple color just go off of your body and flow down the river. And then I want you to take a deep belly breath. Okay, the next chakra we're going to clear is your third eye. And this one is that deep purple blue color. And again, it will have, if it is clogged with any any bad thoughts of the future that you've been having, any fear, there's a lot of fear here. That water is going to come down beautiful and clear over that crown chakra, and now it's going to be clear as it leaves there, and it's going to pick up that 
dark blue and brown from your third eye chakra. It's going to carry it right down the body, down the trunk, down your legs, and down the river. So just see all that energy that you don't need to learn from anymore. Just flow away from you. Deep breath. All right. The next chakra we're going to clear is our throat chakra. And this is that beautiful sky blue. The water is going to come down your head over the head, over the face, go down into the neck area. And as it gets to your throat chakra, front and back, it's going to pick up that beautiful clear blue tinged with the brown. And this has to do with all those words that you wanted to speak to someone. And maybe you couldn't get it out, or you did get it out and they wouldn't listen to you. It's like you weren't heard. This also has to do with things that you have heard that you wish you had not heard. All this water will flow over and take that blue and brown color down your trunk and back, down your legs, and watch it just flow down that little river and flow away from you. Deep breath. Okay, now we're going to clear the heart chakra and this chakra as that water is clear now all the way down the head and throat beautiful clear water comes over your shoulders goes down where your heart chakra is and it picks up that pink and green color which is of course now tinged with a lot of brown and this has to do with the heartaches that we've had it has to do with things that we have heard people say to each other that are just so cruel. It has to do with loves in our life that, that are not here anymore that we have found we didn't match with or people who have had to leave us and go back home. All the heartache. All of that. Just let that clear water pick it all up. Take it down the body, down your legs, and watch it float down that river. All that pink and green tinged with brown. Just let it go. Okay, take another deep breath. Okay, now that waterfall is going to be very clean and clear until it gets to your solar plexus chakra. And that color is going to be yellow and it will be tinged with brown. And this has to do with all of the things that you thought you learned and thought were true, but, but it wasn't. A lot of false knowledge that we thought we understood something and then we found out later it wasn't true at all. So allow all that knowledge, all that intelligence, that you thought was serving you, but is not serving you anymore. Just allow that clear water to pick it up. Take it down your thighs, down the rest of the legs, and let it float out into that river. You don't need this anymore. You can let go of it. And deep breath. All right. The next chakra will be your sacral chakra. And this can have a lot of pain and a lot of damage done to it. Um, partially because of the society we live in, um, depending, the problems and challenges will be different sometimes for men and women. But I want you to feel that water nice and clear flow over the body clear, clear, clear till it gets to that sacral chakra and it's going to pick up that orange with brown, that tinged orange color, washed it down the body and out that beautiful little river there. Now this chakra has many um, 
many challenges as the society we live in right now for women can be very confusing um, and this can cause damage there. Women um, have this wonderful sensuality and sexuality and yet with what man has done with and women, I don't mean just men in general, with um, movies and different things they have made, they've taken the sensual and the sexual and corrupted it. And it takes away from the beautiful spiritual experience two people can have together. And women suffer a lot of shame for wanting to be that sensuous and sensual um, and sexual goddess. They, they know that it's accepted um, all their motherly feelings and womanly feelings, but to be a mother and to also be sensual can be looked at very differently from people. And so there can be a lot of pain there from that. Also there can be pain there from, um, let's say you have become involved or you know your husband or your wife has um, decided they do not want sexual relations anymore and this causes a lot of pain in this area. There can be pain in this area for women with just pelvic problems. Um, and for men in this area, men have been handed a lot of shame for their natural feelings and so there can be a lot of shame in this area for them. And so whatever it is for you, if it's a physical or emo an emotional problem, um, just let that clear water come down and see that orange and brown just flow down the river. Just let all that pain go. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. And let's take a deep breath. And the last clearing we want to do is with that root chakra. And now you've got this beautiful, clear, warm water coming down all the way, all through the body, and it will get to the root chakra. And this has to do with any physical pains you have felt, anything that feels a challenge for you and your physical body. And so all those pains, everything you've been through, just let that water pick up the red and brown and let it just flow right off of your body and you can see it flow right down the river. And then take another deep breath. Okay, you can slowly open your eyes. Now, sometimes we feel a little lightheaded after we um, do a meditation of that sort. Sometimes we feel more energetic. Sometimes we feel a bit peaceful. And sometimes you just feel a little different, especially if you've never done that before. And so that is the meditation for clearing your chakras. And I'm going to leave that with that for this video and I will make another video right after this and we will do a strengthening um, chakra exercise or meditation whatever you want to look at it as and so I will say goodbye for now I hope that this will help you I hope it will help you feel better in many different ways and I will see you on the next video bye